After months of speculation regarding the DJI Avata 360, which many people have been asking about, we finally have our first official look at the promo images of what seems to be DJI's very first 360 drone. And of course, the leak comes from none other than Igor Bogdanov, who has a perfect track record when it comes to early DJI info. Now, if you've been following the whole 360 drone story, you'll know why this one's exciting. A few months back, Insta360 surprised everyone by announcing their first ever drone under the new anti-gravity brand. That's the anti-gravity A1, a consumer-focused model that's expected to launch around January 2026. But almost right after Insta360 made that announcement, rumors started swirling that DJI was cooking up a rival 360 drone, something that could hit the market even before the A1 launches. And those early whispers have now turned into something much more concrete. What started out being called the Mini 360 has now evolved into the Avata 360, and according to the latest images, that's actually the final retail name. These aren't some blurry prototype shots either. They're clean, polished, and carry that unmistakable DJI design language, full branding, professional lighting, basically this looks like something ready for a press release, not a secret prototype. And that tells us one thing. DJI might be much closer to launching the Avata 360 than anyone expected. At first glance, the Avata 360 looks noticeably more compact than the Avata 2, but still very much in the same Cinewhoop style frame. DJI's kept that enclosed duck guard design, the signature look of the Avata line, but made it sleeker and more aerodynamic. The guards around the propellers look thinner and smoother, probably made from a lighter composite material. That could mean better airflow and less drag, which usually translates to longer flight times and better agility in tight spaces. And from the looks of it, DJI has gone all in on 360 imaging. You can clearly see two camera modules on the body, each facing opposite directions. These lenses are what make full 360 degree footage possible. They capture overlapping fields of view that can then be stitched together into one seamless image. Now here's where DJI might have the edge over Insta360's drone. The Avata 360 doesn't just rely on a static dual lens setup. If you look closely at the renders, it seems like the entire camera housing is mounted on an enclosed rotating gimbal system. It's not exposed like the ones you see on the Mini 5 Pro or the Air 3, instead it's tucked inside a protective shroud. That's smart, because in FPV flying, crashes and scrapes are pretty common, and this design protects the optics while still giving you tilt control. So instead of fixed fisheye lenses like on the anti-gravity A1, DJI setup allows the dual lens unit to rotate up or down, giving pilots manual or automated control over camera movement. It's a really unique middle ground between a full FPV build and a cinematic 360 rig. And according to earlier leaks, DJI is expected to bring the same camera hardware it used in the Osmo 360, which means we could be looking at 8K 360 degree video capture with advanced electronic image stabilization, EIS, and horizon leveling instead of a physical gimbal. Now let's talk about what else is visible in these images. Along the front, you'll notice what seems to be a dual LiDAR sensors flanking the main camera housing. That's new for an Avada drone. These sensors likely work alongside traditional vision sensors to map surroundings in real time, which would improve obstacle detection and collision avoidance. Essential for autonomous 360 tracking. In one of DJI's renders, there's even this translucent protective sphere shown surrounding the drone, a kind of visual metaphor for spatial awareness. It's probably hinting at DJI's LiDAR-based collision avoidance system, or maybe even a hybrid depth sensing setup. And if you look closely at that same shot, there's a cyclist with the drone tracking from behind. That could be our first hint of Active Track 360, or perhaps even Follow Me mode in FPV view, which hasn't been seen in any Avada model so far. Imagine flying FPV while your drone automatically tracks a moving subject. That's a big leap for DJI's FPV ecosystem. Moving toward the back, the body looks slightly elongated, possibly to house a larger battery. If that's the case, flight time could stretch past 20 minutes, which would be a nice bump over the Avata 2. The battery bay seems to follow the same top slide locking system DJI used before. Simple, secure, and crash resistant. Now, when it comes to control options, DJI is giving users a lot more freedom compared to Insta360's anti-gravity A1. 
The A1 is designed to work exclusively with its single grip motion controller. That's cool for simplicity, but uh, limited for advanced control. DJI, on the other hand, seems to be offering both a motion controller and a traditional dual stick RC. The motion controller gives you that point and fly experience. You tilt your wrist, squeeze the trigger, and the drone responds immediately. When paired with the DJI Goggles 3, this setup makes for a truly immersive FPV experience. Perfect for creators who want to feel like they're inside the flight. But then there's the dual stick RC controller, which looks to come with a built-in display, dual antennas, and a professional grade interface. That's where DJI really separates itself. This setup lets you precisely frame shots, control gimbal movement, track subjects, and access manual flight settings. It's the same hardware level control that serious aerial filmmakers love. That dual control flexibility makes the Avata 360 suitable for both fast, high adrenaline FPV flying, and polished cinematic capture. Now, pricing. According to early info, DJI might launch the Avada 360 at around 5,000 Chinese Yuan, which converts to roughly 700 US dollars. But of course, regional pricing may vary once it hits the global market. The drone is reportedly going to weigh under 250 grams, meaning it could fall into the C0 classification in many regions, and that's huge. That said, DJI hasn't officially confirmed this yet. If all this checks out, there's a real chance we could see the Avada 360 officially launch before the end of this year, possibly as DJI's next big release ahead of the 2026 Anti-Gravity A1. So yeah, whether that front sensor turns out to be LiDAR or just a refined TOF system, the Avada 360 is shaping up to be DJI's most advanced FPV drone yet, lighter, smarter, and way more capable. With all the leaks pointing toward a launch before year's end, it feels like we're just days away from seeing DJI take FPV tech to the next level. Now the next part of the video is a quick update on the DJI Osmo Action 6. According to images shared by Quadro News, we're getting a look at both bundles, the standard combo and the adventure combo. The standard combo keeps things straightforward. You get the camera itself with its familiar magnetic quick release adapter mount, the flat one, a single intelligent battery, a USB-C cable, a curved adhesive mount, a thumb screw, and a small pack of anti-slip pads for extra grip. Basically everything you need to start shooting right out of the box. Um, the adventure combo, on the other hand, is built for creators who film longer or travel farther. It includes three batteries, a three slot charging case that doubles as a power bank, two magnetic mount adapters with extra thumb screws, a curved adhesive mount, a telescopic grip for handheld or selfie shots, plus the same anti-slip pads and USB-C cable. Both versions use the same rugged, matte textured Action 6 body, a replaceable lens protector, and DJI's Quick Connect mounting system, so your old action camera accessories will still fit without an issue. With that said, we've reached the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Peace.